Hello, good morning and welcome to another edition of Wake Up Well. My name's Ben. Uh, we've been journeying over the last little while or so, or this week I guess, on the theme of Inside Out. Looking at the theme of how the Kingdom of God come and changes us and impacts us uh, from the inside to outside. These kind of transitional truths um, that we've been looking at. So this morning I'd like to look at um, uh, two verses in the book of Galatians, Paul's letter uh, to the Galatian church, and just share a couple of thoughts and uh, pray at the end. So this is Galatians um, 5, uh, verses 13 and 14. I'll just read them from the RSV. For you were called to freedom, brothers and sisters. Only do not use your freedom as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love be servants of one another. For the whole law is fulfilled in one word. You shall love your neighbour as yourself. Incredible, incredible words, echoing those um, words of Jesus um, as well. Uh, in this passage from uh, from Paul in his letter to the church in, in Galatia, he is reminding them of the freedom that they have been given uh, through the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. His intention essentially is to help them walk in that freedom that they have been get, uh, given whilst um, clinging to the commandments of Jesus that he has already spoken rather than living for their own uh, sort of sinful desires, their human desires. Um, above all else, he wants them to get this. He wants them to remember that they are called to love one another. And that's what he's saying. They are called to love one another. As Christ followers, they are called to love by choosing to serve one another as they would serve themselves. This is the first evidence, Paul writes, of a transformed heart. This is the first kind of reality that we can see in a person's life of a transformed heart, a true love for others. It is very uh, easy for us in our sort of sinful nature to live for ourselves. And because we are human and we are intrinsically human by nature, uh, sorry, intrinsically sinful by nature, uh, through Jesus' sacrifice, however, we have been called uh, into more by the power of his blood. We have been washed clean by the power of his blood. There has been a, a grace that has been uh, poured out for us, that has um, uh, been, been given to us, and we are completely forgiven. Scripture says that my sin has been uh, totally removed from me as far as the east is from the west. It's completely gone. This is a, an incredibly humbling thought in, in my mind, because we do not deserve this gift. By no way, shape or form do we deserve the grace that Christ gives to us. Um, and we have been given it uh, with, with, with no constraint, with no constrictions, with, um, with no sort of add-ons or anything like that. He gives it to us um, if we ask for it. Jesus loves us um, without agenda or for his own gain, but he calls us at the same time to do the same. He calls us to love without agenda. We are called to forget our human desires, our sinful nature, and live humbly and to serve uh, one another as Christ has served us. This can be um, done simply and faithfully, as Paul writes, as loving your neighbour as yourself. Now, that's just the thought I want us to grasp today. What would it look like for us to love our neighbour as ourself? We live in a very chaotic world, politically, um, uh, culturally, where hate and slander are, are just sort of thrown across the room at each other. But what would it look like for us, for you and for me today, just in a simple action of serving someone else, of serving my neighbour as I would serve myself. That is an incredible witness to the grace that God has given to each one of us by his blood. This is incredibly important uh, for us to remember as believers because we are called to live in, in this radical way. Christ's sacrifice gives us freedom uh, to live as, as God, God calls us to live, not in the way that we humanly and selfishly want to live. We are given simple instructions here. This is a really simple thought, to love our neighbour as ourselves. The love that we have been shown through Christ's sacrifice is the way that we should live and love those around us, whether they are believers or not, or whether they live their life in a completely different way to us. That is the challenge. That is what we have to do, That we, what we are commanded to, That we, that's what we are called to. Our freedom gives us authority to serve humbly and love as he did. And I've just written down a prayer here that I would like to um, just uh, pray over us and then, and then we'll go. So Jesus, 
I thank you for your sacrifice that covers my sin. I ask that I would serve you and that I would serve others over myself because that is what you have asked me to do. When I start to selfishly live, would you redirect my heart towards you so that I may live more like you? Would you always bring me back to you so that I can become more like you, Jesus? Thank you for who you are. I love you so much and bless this community, Jesus, in your name. Amen. God bless you guys.